So today we will be looking at how to create a wire map. We have a few examples what we will be creating. As you can see, it's a pretty interesting effect. There is no modeling involved. It's purely automatic and this is driven by particles. I have another example. So if you want to learn, keep watching. So the first thing is to import a, a character in mesh. The one that I use is from Modbox. So you can export it from Modbox and import it into Max. Once you have that, you can go to Particle System, PF Source. Let's go to the Particle View. And this is the setup. So yours will be looking something like this. We do not need rotation. We don't need shape. Now we need to replace the the position icon with position object. This way we make sure that the particles are spawning on the mesh. So let's select the mesh. The speed random 3D. Um, it doesn't really matter what kind of speed you choose. What is important is that the particles that they move in a random fashion and that's it. And that they stick to the mesh. So to make them stick we are going to use a log bond. Select your mesh. Select log to surface, snap to surface and restrict to surface. I'm going to say that they need to spawn at the first frame and they will stop spawning at 50. So this is what we have. Now the problem with lock and bond is that there is no speed even if we have speed in here so what we need to do is delete the force now you can see that the particles are moving around the mesh okay so I'm going to show you the original setup Let me play back at the original particle count. Something like this. Okay, so once you've completed this step, the next thing is to load a script. And the script is for generating the splines from the particles. So you can go to this website and you can download this script. Once you download the script, you can just drag and drop it to your um, 3ds max canvas and it will be installed the next thing to do is to go to your user interface and search in toolbars and try to search for let me see raccoon scripts 
here you go click new give it a name and drag and drop it so you have your menu your button so it's pretty simple what you do is you pick your PF source determine a range or select the active time segment go back to particle view and for this tutorial I'm going to put it on 20 maybe 10 just hit generate splines now once everything is calculated it can take um, a long time so mine was probably around 30 minutes so once the script is ready calculating your splines of course you will have a lot more than I have um, you have to hide your mesh and you get these lines Okay, so what you do is you select all the lines and you select um, so runnable spline. So you can adjust the thickness. whatever you want and at this point you can then give it a material and set up a lighting system and render it so eventually you will end up with um, something like this okay so that's basically it you can do some cool some cool things with it and uh, 